Well, imagine doing your job, but then having your boss steal back your paycheck. It's happening to a Spanish pork woman, and it's not the first time either. She decided to get Gephardt to investigate. Now, Shana Mark, it was a year ago that I first told you about this war hero. The U.S. government owed her about $18,000 for duties that she'd performed. Instead, they continue to try to seize money from her instead. The fight wages on for Jocelyn Snyder no longer against America's enemies, now against the government that she faithfully served for 14 years in the Air Force. You were there when this flag was being flown? Yeah. As I reported last year, when Jocelyn retired, the Air Force owed her about $18,000 in wages that she had earned. But thanks to a clerical blunder by the Defense Finance and Accounting Services, they not only refused to pay her, they actually began to garnish her wages from her new job. This is an interview from last year. It's difficult because I'm just trying to get my life back together, you know. Jocelyn called me. We called the feds. They straightened it all out. Everything is fixed. No, everything is not fixed. That's right. Warp to present day and Jocelyn is again fighting for her money. After I received the money, thank you to Get Gephardt, uh, I did my taxes last year. Get a letter about a month, month and a half later saying, oh, your, all your tax return went to DFAS. Once again, her earned wages have been seized back. Because they didn't fix anything. Unable to get anywhere on her own with the Defense Finance and Accounting Services, she again called me and we again called the feds. A spokesperson told us he could not comment on personnel issues, but suggested that we follow up with Jocelyn. Sure enough, Jocelyn got her money back again. She says she's hopeful it's fixed, this time for good, but. I'm not confident. I'm not confident. Are you mad? I'm angry, yeah. I'm, I'm angry because I served honorably for my country. I did a lot for them. I went to war. Jocelyn tells me she hopes this story serves as a wake-up call to DFAS so that other veterans are spared the burden and humiliation that she has faced. If you got something you want me to investigate, give me a call. My number, 801-839-1250, or you can email me, Gephardt at KUTV.TV.